I'm John Cooper, Director of the Alabama Department of Transportation, and I'm pleased to be here today on behalf of Governor Robert Bentley for some good news for Madison County. And uh, first I want to say that the Governor has asked me to express what a privilege it is to work with the folks in Madison County, the City of Huntsville, the City of Madison, and the county itself, and the progressive attitude that they have taken toward the ATRIP program, the matching that they've been willing to make the work that they have done to bring these projects to us and to bring those projects that have been approved along the construction path. And so we wanted to say thank you to those government entities for that. This morning we're going to talk about uh, round three of ATRIP awards in Madison County. And we'll be talking about six projects. Those six projects are a project on Jeff Road, two projects on Winchester Road, a project on US 72, Zert Road, and a corridor from Zert Road to Kellner Road. And two of those projects will be in the city of Huntsville, two in the city of Madison, and two in Madison County. In a few moments, the two mayors and Chairman Strong will address those projects. At this point in time, I want to introduce Representative Mac McCutcheon Mac, of course, as you know, has been a very active member of the ATRIP committee, and uh, I want to turn this meeting over to him. There are several folks who are going to speak, and we'll give you the opportunity to ask questions at the end. There is uh, an abundance of information available to you if you need that. There are representatives of ALDOT in the back. I think representatives of all of the government entities are also here. And so we'll be able to provide you with all the detail I think you will need of the projects. So, Mac, let me turn it over to you and thank you on behalf of the governor for your participation in the ATRIP committee. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cooper. Well, I think it's evident today that as we move into the third and final round of the ATRIP projects, how important it has been, not only for Madison County, but the state as a whole for the work that we have done when it comes to transportation. This uh, A-TRIP uh, program began with Governor Robert Bentley in his office and then through the help of ALDOT and their staff uh, all the way through to the county commission, to the mayors of our cities. We have all worked very hard together to make sure that the state as a whole was treated fairly and also that uh, Madison County received monies to help us with our transportation needs. Uh, we have all uh, worked very hard on this and I think what you're seeing today, most important of all, what you're seeing today is a cooperative effort of the governor, executive branch, the administrative part of the ALDOT, the legislature, as well as our local elected officials working together for the common good of the people and for economic growth in Madison County. Uh, the governor's plan from the very beginning of this was to promote economic growth in the state of Alabama. And this plan has been the most aggressive highway plan that the state has ever undertaken. And it is proving out to us to be very beneficial. Now, when it comes to the legislature, we are very honored today to have with us Speaker Mike Hubbard, who has came up and has been, played a very active role on the legislative side of making sure that we pass the ramp bill and then making sure that our legislators and our local delegation that is here with us today was had an active role and part in this. So at this particular time, I'm going to introduce Speaker Mike Hubbard. Mr. Speaker, thank, thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and it's an honor for me to be in Huntsville and in Madison County. And the reason I'm here today is not only because this is a great day for Madison County, but this program that the Department of Transportation uh, and, and the legislature have put together along with Governor Bentley is good for the entire state of Alabama. Uh, thanks to both the ATRIP and RAMP programs, nearly $1 billion, that's with a B, $1 billion has been made available for road and bridge improvements across our great state. And to me, that's a $1 billion investment in Alabama jobs and in the Alabama economy. Now, uh, before I go any further, the acronym ATRIP and the name Mac McCutcheon really are synonymous. Uh, before Mac became the chairman of the Rules Committee, he was the chairman of the Transportation, Infrastructure, and Utilities Committee. It was a new committee that we formed at the beginning of this quadrennium because transportation issues are so important. 
And let me tell you, Mac took that to heart. Uh, he was at the very start of this, working with Governor Bentley, and he still continues to be uh, heavily involved with, uh, with this, with the ATRIP committee. And uh, for that, I, I think we owe Mac a round of applause for his great work. Now, before I step down, I'd just like to say that uh, you're very blessed in Madison County to have an outstanding delegation, and they work together uh, for one common goal, and that's for the people of Madison County. Let me tell you, that doesn't happen in every delegation. I won't mention any other ones, but in Madison County, you don't have that problem. Uh, you got a great group of folks who fight for Madison County every day. Uh, they work together. Uh, not one of them is selfish when it comes to their own districts, but they're, they're fighting for the men and women in their districts. And uh, this time I'd just like to recognize the legislators who are here. Of course, uh, Mac McCutcheon. We have Representative uh, Jim Patterson, who is uh, one of our new representatives doing an outstanding job uh, representing his district. Uh, we have uh, another newcomer, uh, Wayne Johnson, who has uh, just been uh, fantastic in his uh, freshman uh, quadranium and, uh, and, and is doing a fantastic job for his district. Uh, Laura Hall, my good friend, who is probably uh, the most knowledgeable and uh, she does the most studying of the bills of any legislator in the House and she does a great job working uh, between parties and uh, it, you know it doesn't matter uh, it just has to be good for Madison County. She does a super job there. Uh, Chairman uh, Howard Sanderford of the uh, uh, the uh, Boards, and Boards and Commissions Committee yeah. uh, and uh, also is a, a great leader for us when it comes to the Southern Legislative Conference and a lot of uh, national conferences. Obviously has a great deal of experience and uh, is a real leader uh, in the House of Representatives. Uh, we have Senator uh, Paul Sanford who, uh, as you can tell, has been working today. He has a, some great barbecue waiting for us right across the street as soon as this is over. Uh, Representative uh, Phil Williams, Phil chairs our uh, technology uh, and science committee and that's another new committee that we created this quadrennium. Uh, as you know, he is, he's well versed in those areas and has done a, a fantastic job. Senator Bill Holtzclaw uh, has, from legislation, he has carried some major pieces of legislation and passed those in his uh, initial quadrennium and uh, has just been a, a tremendous leader. It goes back to his Marine days and, and he goes back and he, he hunkers down and he doesn't take no for an answer. Uh, chairman Mike Ball, who is chairman of a very important committee uh, in the House of Representatives, the Ethics Committee. Uh, we've placed a, a heavy emphasis on ethics uh, in this quadrennium and have passed some of the most sweeping ethics reforms uh, in the history of the state and, and Mike chairs that committee and Senator uh, Clay Schofield. So um, Clay has, has also done a, a fantastic job. I'm hoping that uh, all of the people of Madison County uh, in, in these districts send every one of these ladies and gentlemen uh, back to Montgomery because I tell you it would be impossible for you to have a better delegation and a delegation that works together for the betterment of Madison County. So today, a big day for Madison County, also a big day for the state of Alabama. Thank you for having me here today. Thank you, thank you Mr. Speaker, and thank you for your leadership as we move forward in Alabama, taking care of us in the legislature. And at this particular time, I'm going to introduce our local elected officials, Mayor Tommy Battle, Mayor Trulock and Chairman Strong, and I will let them speak, and I will just going to let you start in order, and we'll start with Mayor Battle and then Mayor Trulock and uh, Chairman Strong, and I want to just say personally thank you for your leadership in our community and what you mean to us, and this has just been such a cooperative effort from everybody involved, and a big credit goes to y'all for the work you do. Mayor Battle. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Director Cooper. We're glad to have you in town. Uh, we want to say, you know, the two projects that the city of Huntsville has, Winchester Road and Zert Road, uh, two roads that are very important to us. This, all six of the projects that we've had listed are important projects. Uh, they are important projects to our community, and they are important projects to our transportation plan. One of the things that we have to look at, though, is that we have to address at some point our major arterials, uh, and we have been working with Mac, we've been working with Director Cooper, uh, look forward to some conversations in the next couple of weeks to work on major arterials, uh, Memorial Parkway, Northern Bypass, uh, I-565. All those roads are roads that didn't fit into the A-TRIP plan and are roads that are gonna be a necessity for us in the future. 
So uh, we want to say thank you for the work that y'all have done. I know it's been human's work. I know it has not been easy work at some times, but thank you for both of you for the work that you've done, and thank you to the delegation for the work that you've done in getting a good start on Alabama's roads, and uh, we look forward to more conversation on it. Thank you. Well, I like to say, uh, as Speaker Hubbard said, uh, today is a, an amazing day for Madison County. Uh, and it just goes to show, again, the cooperation we have in our community with our local leaders, with our legislature that's behind us, with our governor and our administrative offices down in the state. Um, this is a huge win for the, the Madison County. Across the board, it's a huge win for us. So I like to say, from the city of Madison, I like to say a special thank you to Director Cooper, who led this entire effort, um, our representative Mac McCutcheon, that committee, I mean, it's, we will not understand the countless hours and the stress and strain that you all went through to make this effective for our county, the governor's support that's been behind it, the back and forth travel you all have done from Montgomery up to here to try to work with everybody. So I can't say enough about how um, impressed I am and the citizens of Madison are very thankful for your entire effort uh, throughout the entire county. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and from our citizens. Like, say thank you for what you've done for our community. Thank you. We'll turn it over to Chairman Strong. Thanks, Mayor Trulock. Again, I want to echo uh, some of the same sentiments. To uh, the governor of the state of Alabama, we are grateful for this uh, final phase of some $50 million uh, for transportation uh, initiative here in, in Madison County. That $50 million will even go further because uh, each of the cities and the Madison County Commission has been asked to uh, to come up with a sharing project of 33%. So that 50 million will go further to almost uh, $74.5 million to address transportation needs here in Madison County. Uh, Director Cooper, I want to thank you. You have worked diligently during this process. I know that uh, you have evaluated each road project fairly, and we gratefully appreciate your leadership. To Representative McCutcheon, not an easy job, but he's never dodged a challenge, and he wants to do more for Madison County, and you're working to address transportation needs as you committed when you were elected. We thank you for what you've done. Again, the governor of the state of Alabama, um, it's a, it, we're, we're in some tough economic times, and we're coming out of that. But I'll promise you this right here. When you're talking about economic development, the best way to do that is to have your infrastructure so it can handle uh, the days ahead. You look at uh, base realignment and closure. This list right here is going to benefit this, uh, you talk about Zert Road. I know that the uh, Team Redstone, this has been a priority for them for some time. I thank Mayor Battle, I thank Mayor Trulock because we're fixed to address that so that we can better enter and exit Redstone Arsenal and uh, do the job we do for the folks that protect this country. Winchester Road has been a corridor that's been listed in, on practically every base realignment and closure uh, transportation study. With these two phases, the completion of Winchester Road will be completed. Director Cooper, again, Mac, I thank you. I know the city of Huntsville is, uh, one, uh, one section is in the city limits of Huntsville, one section is in unincorporated Madison County. This is going to make Winchester Road a safer road to travel. You look at the, uh, the Kellner Road extension, this is a project that the city of Madison has sponsored. It's something that will be good for all of us. It will be something that will create dollars for every school system in Madison County. Uh, Mayor Trulock, you, you, your city council, along with the city of Huntsville and their city council, are to be commended in the, the way that we've gone through these projects. You look at the Jeff Road project. Uh, Jeff Road is a major uh, north-south corridor. Uh, currently, the city of Huntsville has done some major road renovations there. Now the Madison County Commission is joining with you to take that road further so that people can travel and commute safely. To this delegation, you're to be commended. It hadn't been an easy situation, but you've tackled uh, hard times in a positive fashion. I think each one of you, whether it's uh, Democrat or Republican, you came together for the betterment of, uh, of the state of Alabama and North Alabama. To the Speaker of the House, not an easy job. We thank you for what you do for Alabama. We couldn't do it without you. And again, to the staff, Ed Austin, Tony Harris, and many others at the Department of Transportation that have been working this process since day one, I thank you for your support. Thank you. I want to say amen. <laughs> say it. Mr. Chairman, that was, that was a stem winder, as <laughs> we'd say over in rural Marshall County. I do want to take a little further one of the points that the chairman made. I wish I had thought to make it. The three local governments have agreed to stretch this $50 million 
into basically $75 million by stepping up from instead of a 20% match to a 33% match. So it'll be two-thirds ATRIP money, one-third local money. And that speaks volumes about Madison County and about the governments within Madison County. One, that you're in a position to do it, and two, that you have the willingness to do it. And that goes back to what I said at the beginning. The governor wanted to be sure that we convey our appreciation for the attitude and the approach of the governments in the county. When you take the entire program, there will be a little over $82 million of ATRIP money flowing to Madison County with the accelerated match. And there's been other accelerated match from Madison County as we've progressed along this path. The total road expenditure will be close to $120 million. Now, Speaker Hubbard correctly mentioned that there's about a billion dollars of ATRIP money. And so when you look and say that there's $120 million total expenditure of road construction money in Madison County, you know two things. First of all, you know that Mac McCutcheon did a good job of representing the county's interest, but he represented the state too. But secondly, you know that the county and the governments within the county was able to take that core money and make it go further. So it is a great day for Madison County, a great day for the state of Alabama. Again, thank all of you. Uh, some of you are probably interested in this process. I'll try to maybe answer a couple of those questions in advance by telling you that it was a process of multiple days of meetings and reviews. The delegation participated in that. The governments participated in that. Uh, Representative McCutcheon and I were there for all of them. It was a good process. And we all know more about each other's needs than we did before we started. I think we all have an increased appreciation of those needs. And we look forward to working. It is important to remember that a trip is not an ending. It's only a beginning, at best a beginning. And so we all have a responsibility, I think, to take this beginning and carry it further, as Mayor Battle alluded to. And we're committed to doing that from the state side. I know that Madison County and the governments in the county are committed to doing that. We need to generate that same kind of commitment across our state so that we can improve our transportation infrastructure broadly. With that, I'll stop, and I'm sure there may be some questions, and for whoever they may be, we'll just make this microphone available and let you address those.